This is how you get rid of professional agitators. This is how you prevent a woke protest. You do not negotiate with these people. You don't acquiesce to their demands. You don't feel sympathy. You don't fall for their fake victim mentality. You don't fold to the pressure when they accuse you of having one of thousands of phobias. You do exactly what the administration and the students at Florida State University are doing And you shut this down immediately. You tell parishioners and deacons at Woke United Methodist, you're not welcome here. (laughs) Earlier this week, I was reading an article in the free press, and it gave me a little bit of hope for this next generation. As most of you guys know, I am completely against sending kids to college unless they are studying to be a doctor, a lawyer, engineer, architect, a specific field that requires a college degree. I feel like the college education system is a complete ripoff. Kids who wouldn't be approved for a credit card, they are being approved for six-figure loans and they're wasting hundreds of thousands of dollars to get a degree that pays them $60,000 a year. I'm not an expert in math, but that math ain't adding up. Another reason I am against sending kids to college, campuses. They have turned into indoctrination centers. Single mom Sheila, who raised her kids in church, works three jobs so her son Shannon can further his education. She sends Shannon to Woke U, where she thought he was majoring in business. Four years and thousands of dollars later, Shannon is returned home to mom wearing a dress and demanding that mom starts to call him Shay Shay. Hey, mommy, it's me, Shay Shay. We share genders now. Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes. Before we go any further, if you want to become a member of the channel, link is in the description below. I know some of you guys have had trouble this week trying to figure out how to join. Just click the link in the description below. For $5 a month, you can become a parishioner. $10 a month will earn you status as a deacon. Merch line will be launching here in the next couple of days. All deacons, you guys will receive 10% off all merchandise in my store. As soon as I get back from the NBA playoffs this weekend, I'll be launching the Discord server, which will be exclusive for channel members. Got some other perks that I'm working on too, so if you want to support the channel. Click the link in the description below and become a channel member. Earlier this week, I'm reading an article in the free press. They are reporting on this trend of college kids passing up opportunities at elite schools in the Northeast like Woke U, Harvard, and Yale to attend schools down South. Now, when I was 18 or 19 years old, you did not pass up an opportunity to attend Harvard. You didn't turn down Columbia. I hear the snow in Columbia is pure, and who knows? Maybe you'll get the opportunity to meet Pablo Escobar. But students... They are bypassing these elite universities to attend schools like Clemson or something called Elon. I thought Elon was the dude who built spaceships and eventually bought Twitter. I didn't realize he also started his own university. Now, I am sure weather played a little bit of a factor here. Schools like Harvard and Yale, they're not exactly known for their beautiful women. Hard to see beautiful women when they are covered head to toe most of the semester. My inside sources tell me a lot of these women attending Woke U, they used to be called men. Who wants to see the bearded beauties at Woke U when you can see the bikini beauties on campuses down south? Although weather played a part in their decision, I'm sure, the main reason that students are migrating south, it's exactly what's happening right now on the campuses of Columbia University in New York City and NYU. All week this week, there has been a grassroots protest taking place at Columbia and NYU. Now, I use the term grassroots very, very loosely here. That's just the way the mainstream media is choosing to describe it. They're also going with their preferred term of peaceful protest. But what this really is, is a paid for protest. The people protesting, they're not fighting for a cause that means something to them. For the first time in their lives, the participants in this protest they can proudly claim to be gainfully employed. Guess what, mom and mom? I got a job! Oh, really, honey? What will you be doing? I'm pitching my tent and camping out at NYU. We are protesting for, um... 
We're protesting something, but I am making five pesos a day. Isn't that great, Mom? The truth is, these kids protesting at Columbia, they have absolutely no idea what in the hell they're fighting for. You don't have to take my word for it. KC always comes with the proof. Someone caught up with one of the employees, I mean protesters, and asked them what the hell they were doing. Watch for yourself. I think the goal is just showing our support for Palestine and demanding that NYU stops. I honestly don't know okay. all of what NYU is doing. Is there something that NYU is doing? I really don't oh. know. I'm pretty sure they're... Do okay. you know what NYU is doing? About what? About Israel. Why what? are we protesting here? Uh -huh. Palestine will be free! I wish I was more educated. I'm not either. Could you be any more clueless? Could you be any more ignorant? I remember when I was growing up, my dad used to tell me to never put my signature on a petition unless I knew exactly what I was supporting. These kids today, these kids today, they're just following the crowd. They're just following the indoctrinators and they are doing exactly what they are being told to do. Where are all the young leaders? Because all I see is a group of followers. All I see are young people who completely lack the ability to think for themselves. My favorite part of that clip, it's when the young woman asks her friend, why are we protesting? What are we doing here? The friend sounded like she was another young woman. Kind of hard to tell. There could have been a thick beard under that mask she was wearing. But the friend says, I don't know why we're here. <laughs> I wish I was more educated. <laughs> don't worry, kid. You didn't expose yourself. You didn't reveal some hidden secret by admitting that you're not educated. As soon as we saw you wearing a mask in the year of our Lord 2024, the secret was out. We knew the only A you were getting was being a grade A doofus. Earlier this week, Columbia University announced that they were shutting down the campus for the rest of the semester. To make matters worse... They're also refusing to give refunds. Average tuition at Columbia, over $60,000 a year. That doesn't include living expenses, which are incredibly expensive in New York City. If I had to guess between tuition and rent, you're easily paying over $100,000 a year to be indoctrinated at Columbia or NYU. And you mean to tell me you're not issuing a refund because you don't have the balls to take control of your own campus? You don't have the balls to remove these protesters? I guarantee you, I guarantee you, 90, maybe even 95% of these kids protesting, they couldn't locate Palestine on a map. I'd be willing to bet most of them have no idea who Hamas is. You know what Hamas actually means? Believe it or not, Hamas is a biblical term. It's used countless times in the Old Testament of the Bible. Genesis 6, 11, Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight and was full of Hamas. Definition of Hamas Violence. That is literally what it means. Violence. I'd be willing to bet there's not a single kid protesting right now in New York City that knows that. Administrators at Columbia, they are hiding under their desk right now. They have no idea how to control their own campus. They have no idea how to restore order. Well, KC, what are they supposed to do? According to the Constitution, these people have the right to peacefully assemble. Yeah. Yeah, but that does not give them the right to shut down a college campus. That does not give them the right to take away the freedom of other students who want to be indoctrinated. And since you ask, what are they supposed to do? I'll tell you what they're supposed to do. They should call administrators at Florida State and do exactly what they are doing. Have you noticed none of these protests are happening in the South? Have you ever wondered why? <laughs> They tried to organize one of these protests on the campus of Florida State. They organized a pro-Hamas rally. Administrators at Florida State said, fine, fine. If you bring tents planning to camp out, you're out of here.
What we're going to do, we're going to allow you to hold your little demonstration at Landis Green, which I believe is a park located in the middle of campus. Since we know most of your employees are allergic to taking a bath, we're going to do you guys a favor. Once all of your employees have gathered for your pro-Palestinian protest, we are going to provide free water for the purposes of bathing in the form of sprinklers. <laughs> Yeah, Florida State literally rained on their protest by turning on the sprinklers. Some of the protesters put their collective brain cell together and they decided to come up with a strategy to prevent the mandated bath. They decided to put chairs over the sprinklers. At that moment, one of the students at Florida State, he took matters into his own hands. Watch for yourself. Dude, I love you wearing his Jewish star too. <laughs> Good for that kid. <laughs> After the protesters were given a bath, they decided to get together and sing one of their favorite songs. Free, free Palestine. Where, where is Palestine? Once again, administrators at Florida State, they had a response. They decided to hit worshipers of the woke oak tree where it hurts. As they were singing songs of joy and worshiping the rainbow, Florida State sent their maintenance crew out and they started cutting the grass. The protesters were outraged. How dare you cut the grass? That's damaging to the environment. You're increasing climate change. Those gas-powered lawnmowers are destroying the environment and drowning out the sound of my farts you know i was in college from 2003 to 2008 no i did not get a master's degree took me almost six years to get a bachelor's degree if my dad hadn't threatened to cut me off financially and quit paying for my school i probably would have stayed in college until i was 30 i loved it hated the school part but i loved the lifestyle I didn't want to grow up, but anyway, when I was in college in the mid to late 2000s, protests like this, like what we are seeing today, this would never have been allowed. The school would not have to step in and stop it. The students would have stopped it. Can you imagine pro-Taliban protests taking place two or three years after 9-11? It didn't happen. Fast forward 20 years later and we have college kids supporting Hamas? How did we get here? We got here because indoctrination is real. But give me your thoughts on this. Florida State shuts down protesters by turning on the sprinklers and cranking up the lawnmower. What do you think of these protests that have been taking place on woke you campuses all week? I think they're kind of symbolic. This is just my opinion. I think most of these people are being paid and they have no idea what they're protesting. They're trying to make it seem like these people represent the majority, but they don't. Give me your thoughts on this. Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. Appreciate your support. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.